So let's say you have a cylinder and you decide to mirror it. So when you mirror it, you can use the gizmo and then you have two separate ones and it's going to be in a mirror here. So let's say you have legs, for example, and you like that you can move them and they're kind of independent of each other, but you go like this, you select them both and you validate and then you just have legs. So that now these are one piece, so they're going to move like this. Of course, you can trim off one of them and then you can add another mirror if you want to do that. So I'll show you that that way real quick. That's what a lot of people uh, like to do. You can just trim trim one. Oops, got to take it off symmetry. Trim one of the legs, add a mirror, and then of course you're back into you're back into the mirror. So they're going to move like that. But there's another way that you can do it. Let's say you validate these. And now you're back to having one shape. What you can do is go to symmetry and then change this to vertex. Uh, mine was already on because I was doing this before, but it'll be on auto, usually automatically. Just change it to vertex and then you should be able to move them like this. Uh, and there's one more thing about that. So let's say you take your mirror and you move it off the world center. So let's say you move it around, something like that. And then you want to do it. Let's see if we can still do it. So we're there, we're on vertex. See, uh, it's not going to move because we moved off the world center. So when it's in world center, then it's taking the symmetry from, you know, the whole project. But when you move it, you just have to go to symmetry and change it to local. So that will change it from world to local. I don't know if you can see the world center. So this is world center. So this is the center of the project. So before, that's what it was splitting for the symmetry. It was using the world center. But since we just have one piece, we need to take the center of the one piece. So which is not here. Now it's going to be the local center, which is the center in between the two. So we change this to local. Now there's no, see there's nothing else in the center. The center is just the local center, so now you can now you can move them. So hopefully that makes sense. I saw it on Facebook. Uh, I just wanted to explain a little bit more because it can be a little confusing. Uh, and also while we're at it, another cool thing you can do. So let's say we have a cylinder and we validate it. So if you want to stretch just this regular cylinder, you want to stretch it out this way. Or actually, let's say we let's use snap. Actually, no, what do we want to do? Let's snap it this way and flatten it. Okay, so let's say we want to stretch it, but we don't want to stretch it like this because then it looks really ugly. We want to stretch it the good way. So I'm going to go to symmetry. So what you want to do is make sure that you have the symmetry line the way that you want to stretch. So see, we have the red line. So it's going to stretch from that red line out. So let's see if we can get it to work. Again, we're using vertex. If we change to auto, let's see what happens. Oh, I guess it's, it stays the same, but I'm gonna keep it on vertex. So now you can stretch it out and you can get some really cool shapes like that. Uh, if you take symmetry off, then it's just gonna move. Then it's just gonna move like a shape. Oh, and you can see the, you can see the symmetry line stays. The symmetry line stays, which is interesting. So let's see if I want to, if I want to center this symmetry line, let's see if I can go to local. There we go. That's how to center the symmetry line. You can also, if you were doing something and the center line was kind of messed up and it wasn't working, you can go here, you can go all the way down to gizmo edit, and then you can adjust the symmetry line yourself. Um, so anyway, hopefully those, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that was useful. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.